Ooh, that doesn't matter anymore. So right off the bat, let me turn off Rage. Lee has pretty good movement. Like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, tier-wise, how his backdash is, you know? I don't know. Like, it looks like he has, like, one of the better backdash, like, above average, I would say. Right? And I'm pretty sure he has an above average sidestep, too. I'm kind of sure. I don't know. I'm just kind of... It's kind of a gut feeling that I have. I don't have any hard evidence of that. But I feel like uh, he's always kind of had an above average sidestep, right? Ooh, Project Justice. And uh, the one thing I can tell you guys up front... If you want to play with Lee, you got to, like, really know how to play like a bitch. Because Lee is a bitch character. You know what I'm saying? Uh, backdash cancel the same way? What do, you, what do you mean? I'm canceling with down. Which is something I've been doing ever since I got Korean stick. Because it's easier for backsway characters. So, anyway. Lee, uh, Lee is, like, uh, he has some solid pokes. He has, like, a really, like, hit... His has always been one of the more infamous down forward ones. I want to be able to tell you why, though. Maybe not anymore. I think Miguel took the place. But I feel like before Miguel, Lee was like the down forward one guy, right? Because um, Lee, I'm um, sorry, Miguel in second six had a zero on block down forward one. Lee's, I think, has always been negative one on block, right? By the way, it goes, he, you know, he has a generic down forward one. He could do the poke game. He has a down three high crush, low poke, right? And then um, he has a 10 frame counter hit string. Right? Really nasty string, too. And Tekken 6 was especially fucked up, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, and then uh, Lee has a solid mix up game from Crouch because, you know, he has to slide and shit like that. Uh, outside of that, he has a high risk sweep. But the thing about Lee is, he's so risky. Like, everything is, like, launch punishable for him. Like, these pokes and shit. I don't know about this one, but this one definitely is. I think even if he goes to hit, man. So it becomes a matter of, like, when you fight really good players who will launch punish this kind of shit all day long, right? Long, even even Blazing Kick, you have to, like, really be good at opening people up. You have to utilize his counter hit tools. So that's kind of what I know about Lee up front before I even get into all this stuff. Yeah, down forward one, down three is the GM special. It literally, GM being interviewed and talking about how he uses those, <laughs> those two pokes, is exactly how I learned how to poke with Dragon off. <laughs> down forward one, down two, all day long. It's a less riskier version of this leash shit, basically. But yeah, um, so the thing about, like I said, the thing about Lee is like you got to be real careful. You got to be real good at counter hits to make the most out of him. To make the most out of Lee. That's why there's not very, there's very few good Lee players because honestly, making the most out of him seems like is it really? It's one of those things where is it really worth the effort? Similar to Nina, where she seems to be right now. There, there seems to be a lot, a lot of people playing Nina because she seems to have to work really hard execution wise against really good players, you know. Not execution not only execution wise, but decision making wise. And from my understanding, Lee is in a similar place. So now that we got the general uh, the general aspects of Lee out of the way, based on what I know, I could be wrong in some cases here. We'll find out. We'll find out together. I'm gonna now actually go through his frame data. Starting from the top like always, we got the one jab and like always Plus one on block, plus eight on hit. Although I think in some cases Jazz was set plus seven on hit. Whatever, I think it's plus eight on hit more often than not, right? Uh, he's got a regular ass one two, negative one on block, plus five on hit. His one two, so that's pretty straightforward, right? So now he has like a couple of strings out of his ja out of his one two jabs, right? So we got one two two, which uh, doesn't combo on counter hit. I, I, I'm pretty sure the two makes a counter. Uh, yeah, so similar to like two two, we'll get there. Uh, and then he has one two one two two three, which is basically two two three, which is the mother of all counter hit strings here, uh, jet, counter hit jab strings. And then one two two three four. Ah yes, one okay one two two three. And if you press four, you go into Hitman. I don't know if you had that before. Whatever, he has it here. And uh, once again, that doesn't combo unless the two uh, counter hits. Then no, the whole thing combos. Some that are two, two, three. And then with two, two, three, you could also go into Hitman. All right, so that's interesting. So the thing about this string is uh, it really matters more in regards to two, two, three. That's where you're really going to see this string. You're not going to see a string too often off of one, two. Although sometimes some lead players might check you out of one, two pressure to catch you ducking, because I believe if the mid catches you ducking, 
Yeah, that combo, that last, the last uh, kick combos on normal hit. So the obvious thing to note here is that last kick is a high. Just as important with two, two, three. It's important to remember that the last kick is high. It is safe on block. Not only is it safe on block, it's, all, it's only negative three. So it's safe and he could sidestep pretty well on block. Um, the real question is, does Lee actually suck? I don't think he sucks. I think he's just okay. Yeah, exactly. Like Zen said. Uh, yeah, Dylan, the safe on block. So the thing becomes with both one, two, two, three, mainly two, two, three, though. Let's be real. That's the way people really use it. Uh, is what happens when people just stop at the elbow, the two, two, or the one, two, two, and they, they don't commit to the high. If I'm not mistaken, I've heard that this is kind of counter kind of hickerable, but it's hard. Either way it goes. What I already know about this coming in from earlier games is that la that elbow is a counter hit. I'm uh, sorry, counter. What the fuck I'm saying? That elbow is negative 13 on block, right? So if I'm not mistaken, you can OS through this, right? Oops, wrong button. Oh, I ducked this earlier. Really. Yeah. So you could OS and always get a jab punish, whether he commits to the last hit or not. It's not the most rewarding thing, but... So if you're Eliza or Akuma fighting against Lee, you could actually combo the crouch jab into something, into a DP or a, or a super. So they could punish this really hard with the OS, whether he commits to it or not. So if you're the Lee player and you're fighting against uh, other players, you should kind of know this, but you're not gonna see this very often. If you're fighting against Lee, I think this is worth knowing. Uh, you're not going to fight too many good Lee players that are going to abuse this string, but you will fight good Lee players. Well, when you fight good Lee players, they will try to fish for it. Um, now, I don't think you could confirm the counter hit. Yeah. Okay, you can. So, the way you confirm it is you look for the elbow to connect, then you press three. That's really all that it is. So let me see if I put random counter hit on. Oh shit, rival schools won. Random, right? Oh, that was too slow. Too slow. Okay, see, I can leave. That's too slow. Alright. See, I've always sucked at this, but it feels like you could definitely do it. If you're really, 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 really good and sharp at confirming counter hits, you could confirm it off of that elbow. I'm not good at that shit at all, as you could clearly see here. But it, obviously, if you want to practice that, you you know where to go, right? Other settings, random counter hit on. And then uh, make sure you set up to stand. It's all a guard on. Can you interrupt between the elbow and the high? Uh, no, you're not interrupting. Uh, wh when, what I was showing was the crouch shaft ducking the high, crushing it basically, right? So the thing is, the elbow is negative 13. So if you want to commit to something like a slow-ass snake edge, he can block that. So, I mean, don't get crazy. Don't get too crazy, right? <laughs> uh, obviously, if you want to get more, more rewarding with it, you duck the high and you launch him. That's the, you know, the, the true way to punish this. It's just for the lead players that are really good, not that there's so many of them out there. What I could tell you is GM does seem to counter hit confirm this. So if you fight a really good lead player, that is something you need to think about. You're not gonna run into too many of them. <laughs> so they will commit, I'm sure. They will commit. They will commit. They're gonna do like, what is it? Uh, three? Or oh, is it four? They're gonna do that, right? What is it? Um, that's negative one. This is a popular setup. Because it's only negative one. Alright. So, he can go into Hitman. I don't know how that affects the frame data. Let's see here. Uh, according to this, it actually makes him recover slower. So, for example, 1, 2, 2, 3, without the uh, Hitman stand transition, is negative 3, according to this. While 1, 2, 2, 3, 4 is actually negative 9 on block. Which, does, which uh, the bot is not going to show. There's another thing about this. If I'm not mistaken, this elbow actually tracks really well. That elbow. 
So let's see. If I stand guard, I make him sidestep. He can't even try to sidestep. Yeah, he can't even start to sidestep. So it's a uh, record I'm doing. It. A better way to show this actually would be with the delay, right? Because that's a way you would catch people. We really need a Rival Schools 3, man. See? Ah. It's when I put the max amount of delay on it, he gets around it. Alright. So he could get around it. I feel like before this used to track better. Maybe I'm remembering stuff wrong. Or maybe I was just really shitty at my sidestep. See, he's much better for his right side. And like I said, you can confirm off of that elbow connecting. If you're sharp. And that's good damage. That's a nice chunk of damage if they don't if they don't happen to if they block it. If you fuck up and they block it, and they don't happen to duck it, you just you get away with that. So it's a really good move. Really, 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 really good move. Um, next, we got one, two, four. Oh, yeah, there's one more thing I want to test out of Hitman. What was it? Um, uh, Hitman 2, right? So let's record Hitman 2 out of that, because that's an evasive move. Yep. Even though he's negative nine. All right, yeah, you can go in. So if you do block punish it and try to attack him, be careful of what you do. You don't want to get launched by Hitman too. If you're fighting against Lee, if you are a Lee, keep this in mind. If you got, if you fight against someone and you're just trying to play to their ignorance, this is the kind of shit that you could get away with. It is risky. Because trying to attack after that, you oh he went under the mid. You saw that shit. So the whole thing is he, he's kind of going under. He's kind of backswing blowing, kinda. Oh, the spacing is too shitty. Down forward one is good though. Hop kick is no good. Yeah, at least hop kick range is a little. Uh, I think they nerfed it after dr. So you could, uh, if you're an elite player, this is the kind of shit you could look out for if you want to just fuck people up that don't know the matchup. Don't rely too much on this kind of shit, though. But know that it's there. Know that you could have that that little sandpaper strat in your pocket. Woo. Uh, maybe off topic. What's a good way to start learning Tekken? There's no such thing as off to topic if it's Tekken related for me. Uh, if it's not Lee related, it's fine. You could ask. Anybody could ask. Uh, Zen is answering your question, it looks like. <laughs> like uh it takes people a very long time like i consider myself a bad player in the when you consider competitive players i don't consider myself good at all but in the grand scheme of everyone playing tekken i am definitely consider myself in the upper echelon you know what i'm saying uh that just to give you an example of what 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 being a good player decent means to me is very different than what it might mean to you if you just like want to say when i say oh, i want to get decent at tekken well what other fighting games have you played, you know? Do you know, uh, to be able to defend yourself when you get mauled, well, there's a lot. Learning defense in Tekken is a very, very frustrating process, but it could be very rewarding, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get fucked up, and then you're gonna figure out how to beat one move, and then another move's gonna fuck you up. And then you're gonna figure out how to beat that move, and then another move's gonna fuck you up, and then this is gonna happen literally thousands of times as you, as you go through that cast, if you stick with it. But that is also, if you look at it in the right way with the right mindset a very rewarding process because what's going to happen is you're going to run to the scum of the fucking earth lily players that are going to fucking uh do uh matterhorn you up your ass and you're going to learn matterhorn's launch punch but then you're going to launch punch that and then they're going to start doing edelweiss the sweep 
and then you're gonna realize that's seeable and that's super punishable when you block that. And then you're gonna block punish that, and then they're gonna whore up down forward plus three plus four, and then you're gonna realize that she's actually kind of linear after you block that, unless you maybe block it at max range where she's plus one, so you can sidestep right and, and uh, punish all her options, and then she's gonna fuck you up using the uh, core circle forward one two the sway. Uh, on block, and then you're gonna realize that's block punishable, and then she's gonna do the course of one, two into the cancel, and then you're gonna start to react to that delay, and then it's as step by step by step, you're gonna lose a lot along the way, but then you're gonna get more rewarded by fucking up all these shitty Lily players, because all they do is rely on all those stupid gimmick, all the stupid gimmicky shit, instead of being good. That's just one small example. Pick Claudio and do hop kicks. <laughs> There's your answer. Unless she lag switches you. All right, so uh, next we got ah his jab punish. So yeah, uh, recap one two two uh, one two two three hitman. Same thing as two two three hitman, and uh, you could actually gimmick people out with this. He also has a hitman sweep. I don't know how to do it. That's it. There it is. That would also crush people. Let me trust, uh, what was it, uh, the corn? So that probably avoids a lot of mids too, doesn't it? Okay, not down forward one at least. Alright, in this case, down forward one catches him. So the Hitman Evasive Launcher. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I gotta do this one more time. There it is. <laughs> Third try, baby. I got the just frame. Anyway, so next on the list is one, two, four. This is his. Uh, other than what I just did, this is his uh, jab punch. This is his easy jab punish. One, two, four. Uh, his ten frame punish. Really good ten frame punish. Uh, Twenty six damage is nothing to scoff at. Unfortunately, it is negative one, but it's negative one with good spacing. You see right here, you're out of jab range. At least you're out of Lee's jab range. You're out of most characters' jab range. So this into a back dash is a pretty good place to be. But there's more to the screen than that, right? The last hit of this is a counter hit juggle starter. So while you're fishing for one twos, remember you got the one two two to keep people in check. You also have the one two four. So then we could go a step further with this. You could charge one two four. And when you charge, if I'm not mistaken, that makes this safe on block because otherwise it is negative 12. Right, so if I make him stand guard, let's look at the second bot on the top left, right? One, two, four, negative 12, you see? One, two, charge it. Oh, he could sidestep it. I didn't even know that. Good to know. Let's uh, stand guard and guard all. One, two, fucking charge it. It's only negative six. Is there like a middle ground? Because you can let go of the charge early. No, it's negative 12. No matter how early or how late you let go, you have to charge it all the way to make it safe. Negative six. Um, you still need to counter hit on the charge, if I'm not mistaken, right? You lose the you lose the uh, natural common properties, but if you charge it, it's plus one on hits. So that's cool. Uh, what if they're crouching guard? Is there anything special about it here? Okay, no. It's not one of those. Right here, yeah. and then whatever the fuck his combo is. That's a high damage combo starter too. Does it do more damage if he charges it? I didn't check that. Uh, 22. 10. It does way more damage if he charges it. Alright. Uh, any more questions that I missed? Uh, Alright. Let me go back to this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go to character 4. Right, if you're just like starting with Tekken, right? Um, just look at the character. Like, fuck around with some characters in training mode. Uh, look through their move lists, right? Look through their move lists. And then another n nice little tip is if you see in the bottom... You see, there's an option that says display in game. For me, it's Y because it's on PC, so it's going Xbox controls. If you're on the PS4, it will be triangle. And then you do that, bop, and oops, sorry, that's the wrong option. Let's go back. We go here, there's the option called uh, play demo. That's what I meant to say. So when you hit play demo, you, which is A for me on the Xbox style control, uh, X on a PlayStation style control. You go here, and it'll show you for like strings, the timings, see? It makes little sound effects too for the, uh, for the uh, so you can make a pattern out of it, a metronome, for how to hit the buttons for the strings. And you can just scroll through the move list like this. And then just look through the move list, get an idea of how to execute this stuff. 
You know, just so you know, this this star means let the stick go to neutral. And then like, look at this move saying, hey, this this guy looks like he has a cool move. This. So when you when you land on a character, he or she, whatever, uh, l do a little more research on the character and uh, start small and then work your way up. You don't have to learn a full move list. Get a get a little uh, general idea of what the movement looks like, but don't memorize every freaking move, right? Start from like the simple stuff. Look at their like ask around. What are their top like 10, 15 moves? What are the, what's their best mid poke? What's their best low poke? You know? Get a basic burn and butter juggle. Luckily, there are some half decent okay placeholder juggles on the bottom of the move list here. There's like sample combos. And you could just start there. You don't gotta get crazy. Start there. All right, so I'm gonna remove this shit. Yep, yep, yep. All right, back to Lee. So yeah, one, two, four. Yet another great string. And apparently, if you press three after this, once again, he goes into Hitman. And in this particular case, he um, he he is a little more negative on hit. In the case of. Uh, this particular string, he's negative three instead of negative one, according to RB Norway. I think my playlist is over. It sure is. Let me scroll up and start it over. Whoops, I maximized my chat here. Okay, so he's only negative three, but in this particular case, the spacing is actually heavily in his favor. So if you happen to block punch with this and you go into Hitman, uh, keep in mind, you could sidestep. If you hold back out of Hitman, you do cancel out of it. And you cannot backdash. You have to cancel out of it before you can backdash. But, you could sidestep. And then that's the easiest Hitman too. Easy with punish. Easy peasy with punish, right? Because he leans back. First of all, he's creating a little extra space because he's already leaning back. The moment they press something here, bam, two. With punish. That's what you got to have on your mind. You could also just bop, bop, bop. Side step once maybe, and if they do nothing, just hold back and cancel out of it. Um, and as we saw before, I was a, uh, the AI was able to sidestep it if I charged. If I don't charge, they can't. Oh, not only can they not, they they're forced to block if they try. Like, can I mash through that if he doesn't delay it? I just learned something. So if you want to fish for the counter hit, you have to put at least a little bit of charge into it. Otherwise, it's like a, it jails. It won't let me try. It won't even let me duck. It will not even let me duck. So you need to put at least a little bit of um, what you call delay in that if you want to make it something to catch people pressing buttons after your one two. There's a little bit right there, right? See, so now I can duck into it. Now I can get counter here, right? And with only a little bit of delay, I cannot sidestep it. But it is, um, it is negative, was it dirt? Uh, negative 12. Yep, that's his 12 frame punish, right? No, that's his 11 frame punish. I thought it was his 12 frame punish. Wait, is that a natural combo or normal hit? That might not be a natural combo or normal hit. Well, whatever. Um, that's negative 12. We'll get to his punishes later. Okay, so let's scroll down. Next we got, all right, the misstep. Wait, is his shit called misstep? Whatever his step is called. So, this is if you, this is a, a really weird rhythm, rhythmic thing. One, two, forward, neutral. And it's really for combos. Uh, except, now he does back two forward for combos, <laughs> which I can't even do. They gave him this in second six. Yeah, there it is. I've never been good at this. There it is. Alright. Well, the way it goes. This used to be his DR wall carry. He could do like eight of these. Uh, but now it's kind of useless. I don't even know if it's a good idea to use like on an opponent in the neutral, right? Uh, let's see. According to this, it's a negative two on block. It's not as bad as I thought. And uh, plus four on hit if you do this. And... Uh, when you do that, that step gives him unique moves. Well, it gives him like 
Two unique moves. Doesn't he have a slide of that? Maybe he gives him more. I don't know. But it seems like he could do the shredders out of it. Or, uh... No, that's the only unique move. Shredders. Maybe that's more. I don't know. Can I do the GM combo? I can't do back two missed up to save my fucking life. So, I'm gonna say no. Uh, back two. Back one. You mean back two. The only way I get to semi-consistent is, is if I double tap forward. This is the actual wall carry. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so one, two, four is kind of obsolete. But it's worth knowing here that uh, it's only negative two on block. So he can, like, block and shit after he does it, I guess, right? Yeah, easy. Uh, and I guess I'll revisit this if there's uh, other unique options other than the... Um, Other than the shredders, but uh, I don't know. Next, we got one three. Ah, okay, here it is. This is the just frame. So this, uh, if you really want to get into Lee and you want to master him, this should become your just frame. And uh, like I said earlier, you're lucky. This is one of the cases where Tekken is nice enough to actually have a just frame in the move list to show you the timing. Because they don't have that shit for Electric or OTGF. That shit is hidden. Acid Rain. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 So you can just listen to this. Listen to the pattern. One, two. Uh, sorry. One, three, three, three. 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 It's like a Soul Calibur just for him, right? <laughs> it's really hard. I got it like my third time before, and now I can't get it once. I'm gonna get it. Jeez. Just frames in second, ladies and gentlemen. Try this again. Oh, you could mash it out? Huh. Ah, so long. <laughs> so much for the mystique of this shit. Oh, man. Oh, that? This shit ain't hard. Come on. I was talking shit, now I'm not getting it. <laughs> okay, uh, seems like you can kind of mash it out. So what I'm doing is um, pianoing one three, and then double uh, double tapping three over and over again, drumming it with the sensitive buttons. Whatever, 32 damage. To give you an idea, Gigas' jab punish is 31 damage. And that outside of Akuma and Eliza up close with meter. Um, 
That's the most damaging jab punish in the game. So basically, this without a meter character is the most j damaging jab punisher in the game. And it knocks down, and it wall splats for 10 at 10 frames. Then it becomes, can he do this shit on block? I don't think he can, right? Yeah, it seems like you're forced to block just the first two. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, so let me try and record this on myself and see how it is. It's launch punishable? Is that true? It's gonna be hard. Jails. Oh. Uh, there it is. Yeah, this is a lot of punishable. This is a lot of punishable. So it's only for block punish or with punish. Don't use it otherwise. It does all jail though, so you can't step. You can do it step. Did I miss anything? No? Okay. Alright. Uh, next on the list. His two jab is also plus one on block, apparently. Uh, only plus seven on hit. Uh, and then he has two one. Two one, negative five on block, plus six on hit. And then he has two one three plus four to slide. Oh no, two one two one three plus four is Hitman. Okay, so two one Hitman. Uh, according to this, it is plus six. It's still negative five on block, and it's still plus six on hit. So this is a way to go up to Hitman while retaining the same amount of uh, frame advantage or disadvantage. And I still well, he's uh, he's closer here, but let's see what happens if he does Hitman two and I try to jab. In this case, he's too close. Unlike the 2-2-3 uh, two, two, situation. But he will crush eyes. And then he has 2-1-1, one, one, which is a good screen, but it's unsafe. That one in the end is not homing? This used to be a homing move. If I'm not mistaken, that elbow in the end used to be a homing move. Maybe the solo version is. Okay. Okay, if the second hit counter hits, the last hit connects combos. This is a juggle starter. What's the pickup? Anybody know what the pickup is? He's supposed to be able to pick up out of this. I think. Unless he took it away from him, I don't know. Nah, while standing four doesn't pick up. Down three floated. That might be it. You sure it was while standing four and not there it is. Down forward four. It's not while standing four. It's down forward four. And I realize why you make that a mistake because they look exactly the same. See? 
And then you do, you do um, whatever the fuck the pickup is, right? <laughs> Oh man, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Lee, it's so much work. So much work. Just to squeeze every bit of damage. He has a uh, low high pickup. A new one, a new, a new low high string that I don't know the info for. I got it twice in a row before. I'm trying to dash crouch cancel to not forward four. Maybe I should try to, because it seems like he's too far otherwise. Yeah. GM actually does this consistently. To give you an idea of how much it like it takes to be a Lee loyalist. This fucking hard ass shit. Whatever. You saw me do it before. You know you could pick up. Uh, I don't know what the follow-up is after that. Maybe a down two, a float, and then you could go into back two. Shit like that. Whatever. Uh, so what I did was like I, I tried to da uh, dash cancel, down forward four. As early as possible after the dash cancel. Because the whole thing is he needs to get closer to pick up. Otherwise, he would just be able to wall standing four from where he is. And they, they don't give you that. So yeah, that shit is fucked. Uh, but that's what that string is about. It is negative 12 on block. And I believe this also tracks really well, even though it's not homing, let's see. Yeah, see it does. Uh, yeah, but it's negative 12 on block. Uh, negative uh, 11 punishes. I don't know what his 12 frame is, but he's blocking 13 frame. That's 14 frame. So I'll take the second bot at uh, face value for that one. Next we got 213. Oh! He loves that making that sound effect. Okay, so that's not a natural combo. Oops. Okay, the second jab connects on counter hit. It's a natural combo, not on normal hit. Uh, two, one, three is negative four to negative two on block, depending on spacing. This is a tailspin string, looks like. Yep. So if you happen to catch people out the air, out the err with it, you get the tailspin. It's not much uh, to it other than that. I'm sure it tracks, and it's a high. So you can duck it and launch him. Can you delay it? You can delay it a little bit. Yeah, you can delay these two options a little bit. Alright, well, whatever. As expected, you can't step in. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hard one. Even even converting off of this, it's like Tekken 6. It, this was a juggle starter in Tag 2. There it is. They took that away from him, and now you gotta do that shit to convert off of that shit. Damn. Lee, Lee takes work to use. Alright. The other option he has is... So he has a, out of 2-1, he has a high, that kick. He has 2-1-1 one, one for mid, and now we have a low here. 2-1, well, not that, 2-1-4. He also has 2-1 hitman. 
the 214 is even on hit, interesting. And on counter hit, boosh, it is plus 10 to plus 12. Oops. So that's a natural combo. It's a link, 2D style. 47 damage, that's pretty good if you can react to that. Is there a way to make that negative tw uh, plus 12? Plus 10 still. That should make an explosion sound effect. Yeah, that's a proper ass plus 10, unguardable. Oh shit, bust the groove one. Uh, who would be similar to Lee with less effort? Uh, who would be similar to Lee with less effort? It's a good question. I mean, in some aspects, Shaheen, but not really all. Um, I don't know. I don't have a good answer for you yet. Yeah, I really don't. Lee has really good wall carry. Better than Shaheen's, that's for sure. Uh, but Shaheen ha does have good wall carry, so it's like, what does it matter if Lee has better wall carry than Shaheen? Shaheen has good wall carry. So, whoa, Lee can take you wall to wall. Whoop the fucking dude. Um, Lee has better plus on block setups. He has a better while running move, so Shaheen doesn't have while running move at all. Uh, Miguel. I'll say Miguel. Miguel has a full cross mix up, like Lee does with slide. Miguel has a better hop kick, better range. Although knees, uh, Lee's is a knee, you know. So yeah, I haven't even looked at Miguel yet. So, but yeah, I think I think Miguel. Yeah, now Law's Law is very different from Lee. They started as like clone characters, but they, even back then they had differences. Although Law uh, Lee did have the jab, 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 jab. <laughs> That fucking long ass jab screen. You have trouble wave dashing on the PS4? You mean the PS4 pad? That's just something you gotta get used to. I don't have any uh, tr uh, real tricks for you on pad. I have uh, stick tricks. On pad, I just did it. I just did it until it went through. But my one suggestion I guess I can say is um, start slow. Do slow crouch dashes. And then slowly do them faster and faster. Don't just try to wave dash up front if you're not used to crouch dashing. So do it slow and then do it faster. Uh, Lee in Infinite Stage, so, it looks like the least uh, least viable character in the game. I don't know if I'll go that far. Lee has range. Lee has good with punishment. He does benefit greatly from walls, though. You're on stick. Um, a Korean or Japanese stick? There's a lot of good wave, wave dashing tutorials on stick out there. And uh, I'm using Korean stick. I'm not using Japanese stick. So the thing about it is the way I hold the stick, and even if it was not a Korean stick, let me see my camera to make sure I'm holding this right to show you. Holding the stick is important. This is how I hold the stick. You see this? If this were a Japanese stick, I'd be doing the same thing. And I'd just be getting used to it. So if I were wave dashing, it would look something like this. Push it, if I were one piece side, push it forward using the, uh, what do we call it? The phalanges. If you're if you're a, a friends fan, push it forward and then curl the fingers, go down and forward, and that's how I, that's how I do it on Korean and Japanese stick. And then when you're on the uh, two piece side, you go forward with the thumb, and then you use the curl it down and pull it, pull it to the left. That's how I'm doing back dash canceling. You feel me? And if I go on the other side. Oh. My two piece side is way worse than my one piece side. I am doing the core circle back shortcut method for this back dash cancel. You're welcome. If you want to go further than that, there's a lot of real good guides out there that people have made showing off their hands while they play. That's about as far as I can explain it right now, though. Like, everybody has their own preferred way to hold stick, you know? I don't know if you do dragon style Seth Killian, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're talking about the slide. So this slide has a very great reward on counter hit. Not quite a juggle, but that's still pretty good, I think. Uh, unfortunately, it is negative 16 on block. Let's see if it tracks. I think it could delay that too a little bit. If, interesting. 
the slide feels more delayable than the other options. Yeah, that feels way more delayable. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So without any delay, that's going to clip you. There's a way to do uh, his hop kick from crouch. I've seen GM do that too. And that seems like it has a ton of execution involved too. Like everything else in this fucking character. Uh, I'll see if I can do it. Oh shit. I did it once. Oh man, I used to do this by accident on pad. Think about that shit. GM does all this shit. Like, think about how much time that motherfucker put into this this character to be able to do all that. He could do the fucking hot kick for Crouch, even though that's like this move overlaps with it. The fucking law move. Shit is crazy. All right, take it easy, double, uh, Delvit, Delvish, Delvish. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't want to do flips. That's my point. You could do hop kick from crouching. This is a slower move. Anyway. So yeah, that's your punish. If you, if you don't know how to do a better punish, that's 15 frames or is it 14? Oh, that's 14. I didn't know that was 14. So at the very least, it's 14. By the way, it goes that slide is negative 16, and uh, as you can see, we can step it. So if you land that counter hit, be ready to land that jab string. One, two, four. One, two, four. Or one, two, forward if you just want to go into a different kind of mix up. One, two, forward, neutral. So next, we got the two series, which is all the same strings out of one, two. Uh, so the two, two. Two, two, three. We talked about this already. This is a counter hit string. Uh, two, two is negative 13. On block, negative two on hits. Uh, two, two, three, four goes into Hitman. Same deal. All right. So this is basically your main 10 frame counter hit tool. So you got to remember that when you're uh, when you're pressuring with jab, one block jab means this uh, frame trap. Just one block jab, pop, pop, pop. If you're fighting a masher, right? So keep that in mind. And even then, even at negative one, even at negative one, they do anything slower than uh, 11 frames. Bop, bop, bop. It's going to counter hit them. 12 frame mids? I don't think so. If they try to step and mash that second hit, you might not leave much of a gap for them to whiff punish you. All right, so next we got standing three. Ah, this is the... Uh, is this his actual 14 frame punisher? Okay. So standing three is just a 14 frame mid poke with good range. Negative eight on block. Does it push back? It does push back, and I noticed that. Oops, not that's not what I wanted to do. He goes to hit man if you press four, unless you unless you a piano three four, then he does that other kick that did by accident. Look at the spacing right now. Even though it's negative eight. Even though it's negative eight. So if I were to record him doing this on block. That was too slow. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, not even a down forward one. Oh, that's gonna work, obviously. Yeah, that worked. With the same poke. Point being, a lot of shit is gonna whiff off of this kind of setup. And you don't even need to commit. You could kind of wait and see if they whiff, and then hit the two. 
It's a pretty fucked up setup, if you ask me. This is one of those where, uh, you know, once again, you prey off the ignorance of people. But even then, if you feel like people are mashing a bit too much, this is a really good setup. Maybe not so much against Gigas, but Hitman 2 does crush uh, high. But like a Gigas down forward one will probably catch you trying to do stuff. But that's not such a big deal. It's just a poke. Uh, I hate when people fucking win cook, but I just have to take more than 10 seconds to say they disconnected. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh, three, three, three. Ah, is this a punish? Okay, so you can press it. This is three, three, and you can press it early to go right into the high also. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he has a hit throw. He do have a hit throw. So this is an unbreakable throw, if I could do this right. Yet another just frame. That, there it is. Right when the block connects, the second, well, the only kick, the high kick. You press four, and you get a 20 damage, or 25 damage even, because they blocked. That's unbreakable, high. So if, you see, if you've see, if you seen League players go for this before, and you blocked it, that's probably them fucking up the hit throw. <laughs> Look at how hard this is to do. Trying to mash it. Can't mash it. Just to get 20 damage on a guarding opponent. 25. There it is. Jeez. Oh, is, yeah, 20 damage total? Or is there like. The weight's. It's hard to tell because it's not comboing properly. I think that's 20, that's 25. Huh. Whatever. So yeah, that's another option. You have the guard breaking opponent if they're scared and shit. So it's good if you could do it. Which is going to take a lot of practice. But that's Lee so far. Dude, I'm just going through his like 1, 2, 3, and 4 moves. And we already found a bunch of these hard to execute fucking moves. You know? But this is uh this is Lee Chaolan. So. Anyway, uh... The 3-3, three, three, the actual string, is mid-high. It does combo on normal hit. Uh, is there any counter hit properties? So, ba ba that combos. Uh, okay, so there's nothing there. Even if you do it that way. Oh, also on hit, that does come out also. So there's no reason. If you're going to commit to the 3-3, the, 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 till, the, three, till the three, always try to do the just frame. Always. Whether they block it or not. You're gonna get it. Well, whatever. You saw me do it. Um, three force for Hitman. Oh, you could actually press this quicker than I thought. Um, let's see if that jails. It probably doesn't, right? That's negative 10. <laughs> Is it at least jail? Okay, at the very least, it jails. I figured if, if they make like a mid-high block punishable, usually that means it jails. Oof. Spacing. Oof. Spacing. Look at that pushback. I got it one time. Wow. Gigas will punish it. Uh... I'm sure Bob would too and shit like that, but Lee cannot punish it properly. Unless maybe his back is to the wall or he blocks that at a weird angle. So, uh, interesting move. 14 frame startup, so. Alright, and uh, I don't know if that's his actual proper 14 frame punisher. No, that would be his 14 frame punisher. Code 2 1. Anyway, we'll get there later. Uh, next, we got 4. He has a magic 4. What's the pickup? You have an easy ass follow. -up. You know what? His dash up jabs isn't too hard. How about from space? Yeah, 
Yeah, only up close. If you do the two kicks, it's uh, definitely much easier, but I want to see if we get that one. I guess I wish I had a lead player around to tell me what the best uh, option is to actually pick up off of this. Okay, dash into down four three seems to work from max range if you're sharp. Yeah, see. And then uh, does that go into? Can he misstep out of that? Uh. Home with him, he say ho. Oh. All right, what else? <laughs> Not even the lazy man combo. Very, 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 very good. All right, I'm not sure what his magic for conversion is. Maybe I'll revisit this later. That used to be what you would do, because that would bound. I don't know if he has a new option, though. Man. And that used to be pretty easy to do, based on what, what this feels like. But now he can't do that without bound. So, I'll revisit, I'll revisit this when I familiarize myself better with his tail spins. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, I can't even dash up into a two. Easy. Alright, 4-3. Uh, Damn, now he's gonna combo properly on Axis. Look at that. 4 3. <laughs> but is that his uh, 11 frame punish? Yeah, that's an 11 frame punch. 30 damage. That's pretty good. It is negative 3, but once again, it pushes back. So. Of course, he has that, his old classic wall combo. Oops. Maybe it's his wall combo again now in this game. I don't know. Uh, then he had, is that jail? Let's see, uh, very, 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 very good. It jails, it do. But it is negative 14, <laughs> if you don't follow it up. All right, so, solid block punisher at 11 frames. Right, really good. But negative 14, he has that mid option. And he has two mid options. One of them. Oh, that's not a launcher. Interesting. Okay, not even a counter here. Okay, that gives a free follow up. Unless you can pick up with that. So uh, this is a uh, four three three. That's negative thirteen on uh, on block. Plus eight on hit forces crouch. You could get plus ten on hit force crouch also if you hit him in the later frames. But you know, and then it knocks down a counter hit. And then he has four three four. Now this is uh, safe on block negative nine. Knocks down on normal hit and on counter hit no juggle. And it does crush. If I'm not mistaken, you could uh, interrupt that though. So let's see. So that's on, this is on top of 4-3 uh, being his 11 frame Punisher. You can't hold forward though. If I'm not mistaken, you could uh, float that. Yep. Okay. Oof, 11 frame exchange. Let me make sure. 
Yeah, 11 frame exchange, so you gotta float it with a jab if you wanna float that. Uh, not that I would recommend that, but it seems like it's linear. Yep. What about, um... Okay, yeah. This old Clippy trying to uh, sidestep, for sure. But at the very least, if you want to, uh, if if you notice the lead player trying to run run this on you, this mix up, and you're gonna guess, you could try to sidestep. But at the very least, on regular hit, the reward isn't crazy. It's better than trying to mash your way through, you know, and then you get counter hit and you give him a free follow up. So instead of mashing, just sidestep. And then if he does the other option, easy with punish, right? You don't even need to come into a sidewalk. Just pop. And uh, those are his only two options. Yep, out of 4 3. Alright. So 4 3 4, 4 3 3. Next, we got 4 4. I believe if you, even if you go up into the second hit, he gets a launch. Right. Yeah. Uh, all those from this far, he won't be converting it. So this is one of those where you gotta be careful because then he also do four. Oops, he also do four, 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 <laughs> and it's just like the other case, the last hit. Yeah. All right, if he does this too, I think it's easier to juggle. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the back two is easier to connect. Maybe that's why I usually see GM do too. But then he has three there, so if you duck, you have to worry about three of them. Can't really delay it though. So you might try to wall standing punish and then the third or the second one will catch you. That's kind of what this whole thing is about. I don't know if it jails though. It jails. And pushes back quite a bit. Oops. Two of them is uh, negative five. One is negative nine. One, two, three is negative five with pushback. All right. Next, we got. Uh... I haven't really been testing his tracking. Let me do that right now. So we already know. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Can't step the jab, huh? Interesting. Wow, at plus one, he's having trouble stepping his own jab. Alright. Alright, everything is tracking off of a jab. At negative one, not so much. Damn. So setting up his stuff off of a jab is actually quite strong. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I went through, right? So, uh, one starters, two starters, and three starters, and four starters. So at negative one, nothing, but at plus one, everything. Well, as long as you don't delay. Oh, three is good for both directions off of a jab. Check that out. Not for this side, though. But the standing four works. Also, the uh, four four, I think, is a natural combo, but not the three hits, is it? Not that you'd want to do that as a natural combo for a Punisher, but that's sort of bonus, I guess, right? Yep. But the third hit doesn't combo, so I wonder if you could react and punish if it hits you like that. See? That's what I'm talking about. You try to duck and like launch him for a magic four, and then you eat the second or third hit. Just like that. Alright. Next we got uh, four up three. I mentioned this uh, earlier. This is only negative one to plus one on block, depending on spacing. Really negative one. 
maybe uh, either spacing or catching people with the second kick off of Oki. I don't know. Um, this is not a launcher, right? Like if the second if the second kick catches you, right? Yeah, see, it's not like loss. It knocks you away. That does wall splat though. So this would be pretty good at the wall. I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah, of course this is a combo encounter because the four is gonna float. Oh, well, not quite. Uh, this will be nasty at the wall. I think you could step it, though. Oh, check that out. Yeah, go left. Walk left, don't step. And also, you can float them. Can't cross that. All right. So, uh, a very popular setup for elite players, like I mentioned earlier, is uh, this on block into that. Because they do anything slower than 11 frames, it's going to counter hit them. And usually, people block something like this, they're going to swing. I wonder if this used to be plus on block. I, don't know, I feel like it used to be, and I don't just don't remember. This is also a popular like follow up right pop, right after a launcher, I think, right? Like a early filler, and then you go into the whatever. All right, next we got one plus two, his homie move. See, this is why I guess I thought the two one one is the it was homie move because it's the same. I mean, it doesn't track Caucasian. Okay as long as you don't delay it, was it? Whatever. Um, this on counter hit does this again. Once again, you gotta get that pickup. There it is. I got it again. Yeah, look at that. I got it. Whatever. Get that pick up. Uh, it is only negative four on block. Something tells me this used to be better on block. I think it used to be negative one. Might be remembering that wrong, but... This might have been nerfed. It's negative four on block. Plus uh, three on hits. Really good move. Only 20 frames startup. Um, it looks like it, he does recover crouching. But I don't think it crushes. Yeah, I didn't think so. He just recovers crouching, that's it. If you do connect this though, you force the full crouch mix up. He does have a, just a regular ass low poke for full crouch that's kind of okay-ish with a lot of range. Especially on counter hit. So it's not it's nice if you could like uh, you know. Any way to get into that and force a full cross mix up is good for Lee. Alright, so next on the list, we got forward two, and then of course forward two one. Uh, great with Punisher, goes without saying. I think you could back row this. Yep, you sure can. How about on counter it? You can on counter it too. If they don't hold back, you probably get a free fold four three or a blazing kick, right? Oof, that's hard. How about uh, up three plus four? I don't know. Or four three plus four? Is that what it is? There you go. That's guaranteed if they don't hold back for some reason. Probably. Right? Fuck. <laughs> I feel like this should be guaranteed. There you go. Shit. Why is that so hard? Jesus. Everything is so hard for this fucking character. Alright. Um, 
Forward 2 1 is negative 10, which is interesting because I feel like a lot of the moves like this, these mid into highs, have been made negative 9. But his is still negative 10. Uh, it does push back though, so unless the wall is involved, I don't think you can punish it. Or unless you're Gigas. Yeah. You'd have to be like Gigas or your back would have to be to the wall to punish that. It says here negative 10. Either way it goes, the actual way to punish it is to duck. Oh, he has that now. I forgot about that. There you go. <sighs> That's another hard thing. While standing 2-3 to 4-4-3. Four, four, but you lead players are going to have to learn that. At least it's not a whiff. Uh, at least if you drop it, you don't get launched. At the very least. <laughs> so yeah, 4-2-1. Great move. It is a 14 frame punisher. So 36 damage, 14 frames. He might have something better. I don't know. It is a great whiff punisher, of course. A lot of, a lot of range, and I think it tracks very well. I think. Let's see. Like at least the first hit does. Ooh, not quite. Way to prove me wrong. Yeah, all right. It's, it's weak to the. It's weak toward the move. Once again, off of the jab though. Without any delay, I'm kind of clipping him. It seems like Lee's tracking is uh, better than it seems if you're at plus frames in general, which is interesting. All right. Next we have Acid Rain. Oh yeah, forward two by itself, I should say. Uh, negative nine on block. Plus three on hits. Yeah, plus two on hit. Sorry. Nothing special on counter hit. Duck these fuckers. All right, next is Acid Rain. The uh, original Anakin killer. <laughs> the reason is no one is this. That's a natural combo. Oh, it's a jungle starter now. I didn't know that. Um, before it definitely was. It's a shitty one, though. Oh, no, it's not as bad as I thought. It just takes the 70% scaling. I thought it would scale before that. As you can see, though, it only scales off of the last hit. Oh, and you could hiccup from it. You could delay that last hit quite a bit. So this move is actually kind of useful now. Right. Well, anyway, the reason I jokingly call it the Anakin Killer is because... Oh, Forever ago, I think it's like one of the first times GM traveled out for Tekken 6. Or at least he did in a tournament that had Anakin in it. And it was GM versus Anakin in the Grand Finals. And it went down to final round, final match, I believe. And of all the things to kill him, not all of that, no. But the high in the end. Anakin got hit for God knows what reason by that high in the end. And he lost. Even though that's the only thing he could do out of that, that high. He's just like, what the fuck? Why did he lose to that? Why did GM go for that? Why did Anakin lose to that? Who knows? Nobody knows. You can look up like final round. Maybe it was 2010. <laughs> he just said, pop, 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 pop. Whoa! But yeah, that's a juggle starter now. And I don't think it was that before. Also, I'm not so sure it was uh, this hit confirmable. Kirk confirmable. I can't even talk. This hit confirmable before. Uh, so this is forward 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4. You can just mash forward three until the la until the end there and hit four, and apparently you could hit three after the four to go into Hitman. So there's that. That'll probably change up the combo. Uh, is this tailspin? I wouldn't recommend that as a tailspin off of a juggle if it was even possible, because then you're just taking away all the scaling for one damage. But still, it is a natural combo, of course. Um, I don't know if it jails before the last kick. Because there is a few highs in there. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, everything jails before the last kick. That's how slow he recovers. He can get up. I could probably blazing kick kick him. Ooh, 
Oh, he turns with it. Yeah, he turns during it. If you make this whiff, you better like... Oof. His right side is covered quite well, too. This tracks quite well. I didn't realize it was this good of a tracker. Yeah, I think this move is way more buff than it used to be. Oh, yeah, okay. So you can walk it. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You better jab. If you get around this move at all, yeah, just jab. Don't get crazy. Huh. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, I guess if they duck, if you think they're going to duck, also, FYI, this is a 15 frame punish, also. And uh, if you'll notice, like the hop kick whiffs. Look at that. This might be worth it for that, too, as an actual 15 frame punish. Interesting. Oh, wait. Oh. You have to make. You could do the four early? Oh, you could do the four at any point. I didn't know that. So you gotta make sure you do all the kicks. And then hit him with the tailspin. Good to know. Good to know. That works too. If for some reason, you wanna do that instead. Um, Alright. Interesting. Uh, if they do block the high, it is only negative four. If you stop before at any point before the high, your launch punish spot negative eighteen. So at any point. Can you uh, interrupt the floor? There is a quite a delay. Okay, you definitely cannot. So at the very least, if you have a high crushing low poke, right? There you go. This is 16 frames. So this is probably guaranteed to hit him whether he stops or not, right? I hate that kind of shit. I can't execute a down three perfectly. I get the generic one. <sighs> well, whatever. If you mash down three, you'll punish him one way or the other. That's interesting. So if you want to get some sort of guaranteed damage, whether he finishes that spring or not. Alright, next on the list. And it tracks quite well, too. 15 frame startup, I didn't know. I feel like that move was buffed a lot. Now I'm just not realizing exactly how much it was buffed. And if he goes to the Hitman, instead of negative 4 on block, that high in the end becomes negative 7. It is also a tailspin. Of course, you know that already, because it is instant tailspins. Alright, next is forward 4, which is uh, has a heavy delayable follow-up in, in uh, forward 4-3. And that's a key move right there. A lot of leagues like to fish for counter hit because that second kick is a combo starter. A high damage one at that. See? And you go to whatever. You do the delay hop kick and you go into whatever the follow up is for a lot of damage. Um, forward 434. Is this new? Oh no, he just, he's able to go to Hitman. I didn't know about that. You press forward 43 and you go to Hitman. Okay, you have to commit to the hitman instantly. You have to press the last four right after the three. Yeah, so that's pretty much what this is. On counter hit, this also they both connect for 33 damage, which is solid. And plus six. Does it force crouch? It uh it does not. So how's the tracking on this baby? Let's see. Let's see. I 
have to test everything with both jab and one two. Once again, jab makes it track quite well. Makes it hard to sidestep. Makes it hard to sidestep to his right. You can get around no problem on the left. And the second kick is only negative eight. It is safe on block. The second kick by itself uh, is is uh, plus six to force crouch. Same thing if they both counter. Plus six force crouch. Okay. And uh, let's see if they stand guard, crouch guard. If I'm not mistaken, um, I don't think he had this in the R, but it's similar to, similar to, oh, back four is gone? Wait, back three. Ah, that's the new shit right there. Okay. the new pickup that's the easier pickup which is still hard that's crouch cancel back three three i just found that by accident now see i knew he had a new pickup it's the same thing here it's just hard you lost that energy by accident Oof, look at that shit. Shit. Lee. Oh my god. It's just as hard. I thought it was yeah, okay. Oof. I was able to get a deep jab on that one. What's up, J Money? Okay. You gotta get a deeper dash than I thought. What about Magic Floor? Not quite. <laughs> oh, he could go into misstep out of that, I think. Well, anyway. Yeah, he goes to misstep out of that. That's why you want that pickup. <sighs> Alright, so... Forward three, four. Ooh, in this case, if he goes to Hitman, he makes the frame data better. So this is negative eight on block. If you go to Hitman, it is a negative. It says negative 14 here. It is negative four. So once again, we got this setup. Yo, Josh, uh, SummerSlam is this Sunday. I know you're down. Ooh, the spacing isn't that great. Maybe you can shadow block it. Yeah, nah. They'll just catch people jabbing. Wow, even then the 1-2 exchange. So that's not such a great setup for that. Uh, they never fix a stance issue with frames? What was the stance issue, Zen? What do you mean? I didn't know there was an issue. I know his frame data changes when he goes into stance. That's about it. All right. So that's four, three, four. Oh, with the bot, if they did, I don't know. I ain't, I haven't updated in a while, so maybe. Ah, this is. I didn't know this was just a uh, one one button input for these two punches. Forward one four plus one plus two. This is how fast is this? Thirteen frames. 13 frame startup, interesting. For 34 damage, so this is his 13 frame Punisher then, I guess. Knocks down, uh, but it is bad on block, so this is a block Punisher specifically. My guess is, oh man, this song is so tight. My guess is this is, uh, this is gonna jail. Uh, 
Not great tracking on it either. It does jail. There you go. See, punish. Punish. <laughs> punish it with itself. Good to know. So that's a 13 frame punisher with the wall splat opportunity also. Uh, yeah, see like negative 14 when it isn't. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's that, just ignore the bot when you see that and listen to my voice. My uh, dulcet tones will tell you what it is. What it do. So that's his 13 frame punisher. Looks like it has solid, uh, okay-ish range, right? Yeah, it has okay-ish range. Wasn't it something before that was negative 13 that I was trying to punish? Well, whatever. Oh, it was negative 12, maybe. Uh, next on the list. Forward plus three plus four. This is a great move. This. This is a fantastic fucking move. Let's uh, turn off stand up. So first of all, it hits grounded. It hits grounded, and if I'm not mistaken, it floor breaks. Right? Second of all, it's uh, guaranteed off of his command grab. I'm pretty sure. His, his command grab being 4, 4, 3 plus 4. Unlike uh, Law, he doesn't get a pickup for it off of it. Yeah, no pickup. Wow, that does more damage. I know about that. Well, maybe not, no, because it's not comboing. Uh, third of all, it is plus 4 force crouch on block. Plus eight force crouch on hits. Uh, fourth of all, he could recover standing or crouching. If you hold down, he'll recover crouching. If you don't hold down, does he, is he, uh... Oh no, he does recover crouching either way, I'm sorry. Either way he goes. You could stay crouching and go for like that for a frame trap, if I'm mistaken. Which on counter hit, you know. Oh, sorry. Gives him a free follow-up or whatever. Basically, you can force the full cross mix-up on block and on hit. Is what I'm saying here. Uh, as long as you mix it up properly. So this is a really, 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 really good move. This is a good move for Oki. If you have people afraid, you can just kind of throw. You can kind of throw it out. Kind of. Kind of throw it out there, but it is pretty linear, if I'm not mistaken. And it does crush lows. So, yet another good use for it, right? I don't know if it's quite Butterfly Edge crushing, but... Yeah, see? That's a big whiff. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not quite Butterfly Edge, but uh, it does crush lows. So yeah, this is a great move. Apparently there's a situation where you can make the second hit miss. Maybe if you sidestep it right or block it off in a certain situation. And in that situation, it's negative 14 for Scratch on block. So I don't know what that looks like or... Yeah, that's gotta be like an off axis thing off of a tech or something. All right, next we got the uh, Holy Grail itself. Down forward one. You could abuse this quite a bit. First of all, it tracks quite well to his left side, as you can see here. Uh, two of these back to back will blow them up for sidestepping to your left. They're right. Off of a jab, they can't go the other way either. Off of one, two, they can. So essentially, there's a whole lot of this going on. <laughs> oh, fighting GM. Fighting GM. <laughs> fighting GM. <laughs> All right. So down forward one is like, you know, he's like the gold standard for down forward ones, pretty much. 
Although, I mean, maybe there are some other really good ones. Since it feels like his still tracks really well. His visually ducks a lot more than a lot of others. This shit used to be so fucked up against Marduk, dude. Marduk, he would just do two in a row all day long. Marduk couldn't jab him. Marduk had to, like, delay his jab, like, one frame or two frames to hit him out of this. So fucked up. I don't think the same thing applies for Gigas, though. I think I tested it. Yeah, see, it doesn't quite happen here. It was like tall characters only, like Marduk. So, you know, maybe a jack forward too. He'll go under it. Either way it goes, there's a window where this will go under jabs. Especially if you maybe space it well or something like that, you know? And then on hits, he's plus five. I feel like that's worse than it used to be. I don't know, maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Counter hit, same thing. So this isn't, this isn't all that, like, scary. But it's a way, it is a way to set up, you know, some frame matches if you catch people ducking, and it's very good on block. Only negative one. Next, we have down forward two. It is a safe on block, 15 frame down forward two that launches on normal hit, which means it does not launch crouchers on normal hit. Right. There you go. On counter hit, it launches. It is negative seven on block. And it tracks to his left side off of a jab. Off of a single jab, plus one, it tracks to his left side. That's me doing a slight sidestep left. You don't even see me doing it. That's how I'm just tapping up and instantly tapping down forward two. And I'm catching him. You probably only add one or two frames in putting it like that. So if it adds that much tracking, you should just fucking input it like that, right? Unless it's a block punish. Which it shouldn't because this should be a block punish, right? Huh. 13 damage. Whatever. So yeah, down forward two is good. Next, we got down forward three. Oh, this is the start of his juggle string, right? Down forward three, two, three. That's the string. That's the only string he could do off of this. Um, the first two hits on counter. On counter hit. Okay. Okay, so if the second hit counter hits, the third hit combos. Otherwise, doesn't combo. First two hits combo on normal hit. Uh, it is mid high, mid high, mid. That third hit you could delay quite a bit. The second hit you can only delay a little bit. Good range. Uh, if you need a 15 frame move with, with some range. I guess you could go for this, but if you, if range is your issue, just go for forward two one. Yeah, there's no there's no point. Forward two one should be your go to. That tracks quite well to his left side. Well, step at least. Yeah, it tracks step. Doesn't track at all to his right side though. But it does track step to his left. Let's see, that last hit is negative 16 with pushback. Ha 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 ha, does he punish? Wow. Good for him. He's got a range punish now that starts juggles. All right, so this is really only for juggles this string. Uh, first hit, negative eight on block, plus three on hit. Same thing on counter hit. Second hit, if you do that, four, three, two, negative six on block, plus five on hit, and plus five on counter hit. So this is like a wall carry juggle. 
This used to be really good at tag too because he was able to tag out of it. Okay, see? There's a lot of wall carry. Alright. That's about all it's really for. I wouldn't use it otherwise. Although, you know, he does launch off of that third hit. So if you happen to get that, uh, you got to find a juggle. Whatever the hell it may be. Jeez, I don't know what it would be. Head toward face down launcher. Next, uh, Donfold 4. There it is. Mid 13 frames. You can go into Hitman if you press 3 after. Um, Don Ford 4 by itself. Negative 9 on block plus 2 on hit. Exactly the same frame data in Hitman. And it pushes back a lot. Look at that. Look at that on hit. How about on block? We got some pushback on block. That's the classic Hitman 2 with punish setup. Lee has a lot of buttons like this that space them out well for Hitman transitions on block. They can really fuck up people who don't know the matchup. <laughs> the first hit did whiff. It was just that he went into it with the hit. Yeah, this is a good Hitman setup on block. A very good one. On hit too, but at the very least you're an advantage. You don't even need to, like like I said before, you don't need to just commit. You can just wait and see for the, uh, the whiff. And then hit two. You'll get Hitman 2 with Punish Launcher. It's good shit. Alright. Next on the list. Um, I didn't check the tracking on this. Ah, once again, great off of a jab. This is a 13 frame mid that sets a lot of shit up too. All right, is my playlist over again? I think it is. All right, I gotta change up my playlist. Give me a minute. And uh, please, by all means, feel free to keep asking questions unless you're enthralled by this uh, Lee information. I'll keep going. But I'd be willing to answer other questions too. Oh, shit. Which is the playlist that got my shit muted? I don't remember which one it was. I'm just going to go back to playlist one, I guess, again. Good old Disgaea. All right, next on the list. Down four plus one plus two. What the? Oh, he can just go right into that. All right, so that's basically the two, two. More damage though. So you can go right into it. So down four plus one plus two. And in this case, this is actually safe. Unlike out of the jab string where it's negative 13. And you can go to Hitman off of this too though. And the data in that situation is the same. It is uh, negative three on block without Hitman. This. Uh, it is natural combo on normal hit. And with Hitman, it is negative nine. Yeah, that's the spacing where down forward one and up forward four whiffed if I did Hitman 2. Yeah, alright, good. That's cool. Um, and just like before, the tracking I'm sure is uh, solid. Okay, 
it so he could sidewalk, but not to really step it. Not so much. Hey, it's not a negative one. Alright, uh, next we got down two. This is plus eight on hits and on counter hit. It is negative six on block. Oh, by the way, dot four plus one plus two has 18 frame startup, so it's pretty slow. But if you want to check a high damage, like wall splat, if you catch people like moving around too much, maybe. Big whiff, but he has other options for wall splat for big whiff. By the way, just know that that's there. I don't know. I don't know how useful. Like, it's a good move. But I feel like other moves kind of make it, you know, useless. Like, you, like why do that when you can do it like this? Or, you know, the, the just frame. That one. Wow, I did it in, in one try. Go figure. Um, which I'll get to. I haven't gotten to back 1-1-2 one, one, yet. But right now, talking about uh, down 2. This is really for juggles. This is really to pick up off of, like, shit like, uh... Because the way it picks up, right? Um... It does that big ass float like that. So it's a way to pick up and go into juggles. That's really the, the best use for it. But even then, uh, in a neutral situation, it's only negative six, so maybe it's not that bad. I don't know how it tracks though. Yeah, you get that. I guess it tracks quite well to that side. Whew. Okay. Not so much to his uh, left, it looks like. So it tracks to the side where it looks like it should track to. There, all right. Yep. <laughs> so it has that, but there's no counter hit properties or anything special about it. So, kind of whatever. I don't think it hits grounded. I should double check. Yeah, no, it doesn't hit grounded. It does have a low hitting hitbox, so I think it would hit Ling AOP. I'm pretty sure actually it would. Usually, those kinds of moves do. Alright, next we got uh, down plus three, which has a four follow up. Alright, down plus three, go okay, yeah, down plus three is the high crushing low poke, and then he could have uh, pressed four to go to hit, man. And if I'm not mistaken, that makes the frame data better. It do, it do make the frame data better. Negative 17 on block if he doesn't go to hit, man. Negative 15 on block if he does. Did they make this worse? Negative one on hits. If he goes into hit, man, negative three on hit if he doesn't. I feel like they made this worse. I feel like this used to be plus if he wants to hit, man. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, wow, he went under two jab. Not, not the one jab, though. <laughs> That's funny. About a four. This thing is a lot less scary than I thought. Anyway, on counter hit, it knocks down like that. If you go to Hitman, you do the Hitman sweep follow up. That's usually what I see at least. That's the follow-up on counter hit. I don't seem like you have any sort of pickup otherwise. Yep, there's no pickup otherwise. <sighs> Weird. So down three isn't as good as I thought it was. Let's see how it tracks. I mean, it's not useless. He needs. He kind of needs to use it, but it's kind of whatever. A 
Okay, so at least it tracks step well. Ah, sweet spot. It tracks quite well, because this is negative five. That's when he's getting around it. But at negative one, he's not getting around it. But it just has like a wide hitbox, I guess. Because he's not realigning or anything like that, but it is catching and moving up close. From a distance, I imagine it'll be like, uh, it would whiff much easier. Eh, maybe not. So, at least it has that going for it. Next, we got down four. Which means he got down four, four. Oh, down four, neutral four. This is a very risky low. And then he could delay each hit a lot. And he'll only go mid if he commits if he commits to all the lows, all three. That's the only that's the only way he could go mid. Is it just frame? Was that what's that three J? So this is down four, neutral four till the three, which means piano four to the three to go to this, and it's basically the same thing as this four three. Where he has the 434 and 433 follow ups, right? So, yeah, he has the same strings here. This used to be a uh, Oki pickup. Like, if you, were to, if you were to float you back when floating was still around, he would pick up with this. Oh, uh, sorry, he would pick you up with uh, this, and then that spike would uh, bound you. What is four up three on block? It is negative three. Ne uh, sorry, negative one. Negative one. Negative one on block. That's why uh, two two three is a popular follow up. Because if you do anything so then, uh, then eleven frames, you get a good counter hit. Um, you could also sidestep the uh, three, I believe. No problem. So uh, yeah, down four four four. So at any point you could low parry this. They're all launch punishable. Unless he goes as a hitman in the end. If he goes as a hitman in the end, then he's negative 11, and then he can cancel the hitman instantly with down back, and then he's negative 8. That's the first time I'm seeing hitman cancel here, changing up the frame data. I feel like I should revisit some of the other stuff. Hold on a second. Let's revisit down three. Oh, I did. I just did it by accident. I did the crowd, the, the, the hop kick from crouching. I don't know how I did it, but I just did it.
Jesus Christ. Whatever. It, it punished him. So now let's see if I could, um... Seems like it's still negative 14. So I wanted to see if there was a way to cancel that Shaheen style and make it safer. Maybe that's unique to this. Hmm. Well, all right. So if you do the, if you commit to the whole down four 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 string, go into hitman, press down back, you're negative eight. You can make that save. All right, let's record this. So even if it hits you, Kolo Perry. So if you're gonna use that string, make sure you hitman cancel it to make it uh, safe on block. It tracks quite well. There's no interrupting any of that shit. You can't low pay. You can't block it to trying to crush. You have to low pair if you want to punish this. You're gonna punish this consistently. So I've seen GM even against good pairs use at least two of those lows. Like he'll go bop bop. <laughs> As you can see, it's heavily negative on hit though. Yeah, and he needs counter hit to get the thing. At least two, one more hit to combo. That is a high. His unblockable. And he can cancel it into hit, man. If you press 3 plus 4 again. So this is down plus 3 plus 4. And then down plus 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4 again. And you get hit, man. So yeah, that shit is whatever. I don't think it tracks. Uh, I got the record of doing it. Yep. No tracking. All right, next we have down back three, his probable actual best low poke, right? So this shit, um, I don't know how the tracking is on it. It looks like it should track to his left. It had, It is a little slow though, 20 frame startup, but only negative 12 on block, plus two on hits, same thing on counter hit. Pretty decent damage too. 12, what was it, 13? 13 damage, 15 counter hit.
attacks quite well, doesn't it? That walk. All right, so as you could get, you could sneak around it with a sidewalk. It's kind of difficult if you go to your right, his left, but you can get around it for sure. Uh, has decent range. Man, it's a little slow, that's the problem with it. And that is kind of low rewarding. Alright, so next we got Dom back plus one plus two. Oh, his other uh, unblockable. His version of the one inch punch. This one he cannot cancel. It is two hits. This one is uh, mid? It doesn't even say. If you're near the wall, I guess you could combo, but fucking whatever. It's an unblockable. Next, uh, down back plus three plus four. Ah, this is the other that are really good low poke. This one's very slow, a negative 13. Uh, but it's plus four on hits. And on counter hit, you get another f one for free, I believe. No, you get that guaranteed. That's what you want to do then. Spike this motherfucker on the floor. That, that would, all right. This would be a juggle starter on a floor break. Matter of fact, let's just check that right now. Whew. Man, I'm tired. More tired than I thought. Might have to make Lee a three parter. So I gotta work tomorrow. Yep. And the same thing here. So, floor, uh, that's how good this fucking move is. Anytime this move is guaranteed, remember, it's gonna floor break. No need to be re reloading that stupid shit over and over again, right? Let's get some walls. Alright, so down back to before is probably his actual best like low poke, but it's slow. You got some range. He's got some solid range, let's see how it tracks. comes out so slow that it's hard to test tracking on this. So basically it tracks on the side where it looks like it should track to Lee's left side. Hello, Sarkir. Sarkir. That's how you pronounce it. So it's not, uh... Too much tracking. Well, it's tracking to one side. Solid to his left. Only step to his right. So if you sidewalk to your left, his right, you can get around this. Still has good range and on counter hit, like I said, you get a nice little free follow up. Is there any other pickup? Let's see. That does not. Nah, that does a little bounce, so you won't be able to pick up for a juggle. 
just annoying because I keep getting blazing kick when I try to. Nope, up in. Alright, so next on the list is back one. Now, back one has a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, first of all, back one, one, two, is one of his best wall uh, whiff punishers near the wall. Right? The reason being, you want to get the just frame. Yeah, when you hear him go, oh, that's the just frame. You definitely want to master this one. Okay, you definitely could back quick row it. 41 damage wall splat with a ton of range. You definitely want to master this. I think only the first two hits need to be uh, a just frame. Do you use a controller to play second? Yeah, I'm using an arcade stick right now. That's just cheap. So anyway, um, so that's back one one two. So the back one one needs to be just frame, and you can just press two. Uh, and then he has a just frame into three plus four also, which is hitman status. Weird. According to Army Norway. You get to go to Hitman stats with or without just frame. I don't know why it's showing just frame for the Hitman stats, but whatever. Um, he could also cancel the back 1-1 one, one into uh, misstep. What you call it? Or whatever his super step is. There it is. So you have to input the second one and then hit forward right away. The use for that would be, but it's there. Uh, if you don't get the just frame of this, it is plus one on block. Oh, I'm sorry, on hit. Negative uh, 11 on block, so eh, whatever. The just frame one is actually negative six on block. I didn't know it was safer. Uh, it is high mid high, though. Wow, first try. No jail. If you do, if you for whatever reason you do duck after the first hit, you will get comboed on normal hit. And apparently, there's a back one one forward cancel with the just frame also. I don't know. It shows the frame data is the same, so I don't know. It's weird. Well, anyway, that's everything going on with back one. You can go back one one a hit man. Back one one hit man is negative one on block plus ten on hit. Too bad he doesn't have a ten frame out of this. That's twelve. But on hit though, if you want to force a hit man mix up and you whiff punish with that, that's not a bad way to do it, I guess. It is uh for only fourteen damage though, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. It's four to one. Thirty-six damage. Let's see what we got here. Next, we got back two, which is really for juggles, right? Because back two forward. This is the best uh, wall carry shit, which is really hard to do. I've never been, I've always been really bad at this. Yeah, because you have to like cancel it, and the moment you cancel and you get, uh, you recover out of the cancel, you do another back two.
Jesus Christ, I can't do this to save my fucking life. Either way it goes, this is one of those things you're gonna to wanna to practice with Lee. And you can just do it off of a launch, just practice it like that, you know? You don't have to like, and then uh, you don't have to like do the proper juggle up front, right? But after you get the hang of doing a couple of these cancels, getting like three, four in a row, then you look up the proper combo that uses cancel, and then you use them. It's a lot of wall carry for in each hit. It's a 13 damage without scaling. So it's a lot of damage for one hit for something that does so much wall carry. Uh, outside of that cancel, he has back two four. Natural combo. Back two four three. That's not a natural combo. Not even there. What about the second hit? Not there. Oh, that second hit starts juggles. Take it easy. I didn't know about that. He could also do back two, four, three plus four. All right. So according to this, this uh, Hitman cancel is actually negative ten, but the spacing probably makes it so you can't jab him. Yeah, no, you can punish him. So the spacing is not in his favor. On hits, uh, back two for Hitman is negative eight. <laughs> On hit without Hitman, it's negative six. That shit's whack. So I guess this is something to feed into the counter hit, because you can delay that second hit quite a bit. And then you can also delay the third hit. Maybe not. Yeah, you can't really delay the third hit. You have to commit to the third hit. Uh, that seems gimmicky. And it's all highs on top of all that. And it doesn't jail. It does seem like a string to use in juggles for, um... For whatchamacallit, tailspin. Yeah, none of that shit works. But if you want to use it like that, as a tailspin uh, uh, for juggles, seems like it seems good for that. I don't know what the back two four hitman is for though. Seems shitty to me. I mean, he gives him unique juggles if the if the uh, four counter hits. I don't know. Next, we got back three. Ah, uh, this is the new shit. Back three three, and then back three three forward for a misstep. This is for pickups for juggles and shit like that. And you could tell because the frame data is fucking atrocious for this. This on hit. First of all, I need to counter hit for them both to combo. It's only plus two if he does the forward dash. If he does do the forward dash, it's negative three. On block, that high is negative uh, 12. The low by itself is uh, negative 14 on block. Negative three on hit. So yeah, this is exclusively to like pick up off of like stuff like, uh, you know, this. That's all that's there for. So you don't have to do that fucking down four four bullshit. And even then, it's still hard. There you go. And then you go into misstep. And then whatever. No other reason to use that move. Let's check the tracking on back two. Yep. 
If it doesn't work off of jab, we don't have to go further than that. There's uh, no tracking on back to. I suppose that's a quick uh, 15 frame low. That's a quick low, I guess. If you need a round ender for whatever reason. But he has generic down four, doesn't he? Oh, by the way, I forgot to check. Uh, I forgot this down four for four shit. That's 12 frame startup. So it's basically off of the generic low, except he's not ducking. Man, that's 12 frames. I don't know. No wonder why a GM does two in a row. He'll hit you, like, you know. Uh, back duty follow up after counter hit one pursue easier using sidestep up rather than dash. Maybe you're right. Oops. Yeah, I think you're right. Crouch cancel into it, right? Fucking misstep is so weird. Jeez. Hard. Fuck that's down forward four. I agree. That's pretty much the purpose of back three three. Not that this is really any easier for me, who's never played this character, but Back two three. Oh, man, at least so hard to use. I'm not getting it at all. Jesus Christ. I feel like this would be easier on pad. Missing the follow gets Lee launched, yeah, because they're face down, feet towards. You're gonna eat a low wake up kick, because it's low high. It's so. St <laughs> Why did they make Lee so hard? I don't. I don't get it. 
Like, why? He's not that good. Even if it's were easy to execute, he's not that good. Well, whatever. Ah, back four. This move was an absolute fucking terror in um, DR. And then they nerfed it after DR. This is a counter hit launcher that is super safe. He could go into Hitman on block. It's only negative three. And if he goes into Hitman, it's only negative two. Look at that. Look at that spacing. That spacing is totally in his favor right now. So the reason I'm saying this was a terror in DR is because, oh, well, it still does something on crouching. In DR, this would launch you for crouching. It would have basically caused that bounce to happen. Either way, he gets a lot of damage off of that. Look at that. 43 damage off of the first. So whatever, right? Combo. That's a lot of damage already. It's basically gonna give you a lot of like Lee's highest damage, I think. One of his most like frequently high damage comp uh, juggle starters. the DR combo. I could have delayed that, right? I think I could have delayed that for a low wall hit. Nah, can't delay him too much. Can you combo off of this with the down forward four pickup? Come off of what? With the down four for pickup. You mean the back this this string? Back two for um four three. Counter hit side step one plus two. Uh you don't need you don't need a side step to do one plus two. Need to pick him up with something else, uh, get him higher for that string. Like that. Fuck. God, you suck, Lee. Alright. <laughs> Alright, uh, so yeah, uh, back four and back four to Hitman are really good. Uh, it knocks down on normal hit if you catch him crouching, which, is, which gives you a free uh, grounded hit. Uh, what was it, crouch block? Like that would probably combo, right? Not guaranteed. That that is down three looks like it is. Yep, down three is pretty much guaranteed. So at the very least you do have an easy follow up on that. Alright. 
Next we got the dreaded punch parry. So there it is. Come on. So this punch parry gives him a 50-50. Plus seven back turn. Unless you're fighting against uh, any character that has a back turn counter, like Ling Zhaoyu, Master Raven, they would fuck you up for trying to follow this up. And it's only punch, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he has a built-in follow-up? Ah, he got a built-in follow-up. I don't know if he always had this. So it's more like Shaheen's. Counter hit. So the interesting thing about his parry is it didn't work when I put him at plus one and try to jab him when I'm at negative one. But when I made him put himself at negative one and putting me at plus one, I tried to jab him. Then the punch parry activated. I don't know why, but that's how it works. Play for punches. Okay. See, that built in high is made useless because of this string. easy one now he didn't have this option before so before all right you'd have to um, you have to do if you wanted to catch people ducking and turning around you'd have to do blazing kick which is what I was trying to execute but it's a fucking pain in the ass to execute that on the bot so that would be your 50-50 two two three on their back when they try to turn around standing blazing kick if they try to turn around ducking now I could use the uh, acid ring because of the range Come on. If you don't want to commit to 2 2 3 as your high option, you could use the built in 4 follow up after the punch parry. Which is less rewarding but safer, unless they mash. And on. Because on counter hit, it apparently gives him a uh, tailspin. Oh, 
Oh, his armor move back plus three plus four. Is large punishable? Oof, not much pushback either. Tracks fairly well to his uh, left side. Not the other side, though. Look at that 15 frame punish. So his uh, power crush is pretty shitty. His uh, unique cartwheel automatically goes into Hitman stats. That's up, back, back. Oh, that's up, back three. Hmm, interesting. So, just like while standing... While standing, uh... Two, three. You can get a four, four, three after this. There it is. That's fucking hard. That's how to do. This is up back three, but it's slow startup, so it's only negative thirteen. I guess that's why. So, and uh, I'm assuming he's spaced. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to punish. So that's the use for this move, but it's kind of whatever. You can do it from crouching too, if you want this as a, as a mid option from crouching. You can do it like just input as up back three. Yeah. Derek, are you the same Derek I think you are? Alright guys, uh, it is running late here. So I'm going to call it here for part 1 of Lee, 147. Check out the YouTube if you want to see my other character run through. Usually I'm a little more high energy than this. I'm just like really tired because I had to work today and i got to work tomorrow. But I'll be uploading this in the YouTube. If you scroll down, you'll see it. And like I said, I got a lot of other character tutorials. I got all the new characters except Akuma. I got, uh, you know, Alisa, I got, uh, Asuka, who did I do last time? I forget who I did last time. Nina, yeah, that was an interesting one. Nina is really interesting with sidestep one cancels. So yeah, you guys check that out. You know, I do, I do the in-depth stuff only. And I like to learn while teaching other people, so. I'll be doing lead part two soon enough. If not tomorrow, then Wednesday for sure. You know what? I'll commit to Wednesday. Tomorrow, I'll probably play some Yakuza. I don't want to get burned out on seconds. So I'm going back and forth. So Yakuza zero tomorrow when I get home from work. Wednesday, it would be more uh, lead part two, and I'll finish, I'll finish this move list. So you guys have a good night. Take it easy. Stay safe. Be good. All that good shit. Later.